right now we're at the member services desk and Cheyenne's going to tell us about the staff and what you guys can actually do to actually become a member of the Y. So this is Patty right here and this is Jim um, and both of them help out at the front desk and they can give you some more information on what it takes to get a membership at the YMCA. Okay, we have a, a program that we call Membership for All because we don't really want to turn anybody away due to uh, income levels. So for an adult, for example, the basic monthly fee is $49 per month with a $75 joining fee, but that's subject to reduction and could go as low as $32 a month and a $49 joining fee. And what the person would need to bring in would be something to verify their income levels, recent tax return, or recent pay stubs, uh, if they're on disabilities, a letter from Social Security, or wherever they get their cash income from. If they're students, student loans, scholarships, parental support, that sort of thing. And they need to bring along a photo identification card as well, uh, you know, so that, that we know that they are who they say they are. And then when we give them a, uh, one of the Y cards with their photo on it. All right. All right. Well, Patty, how about for actual students? What if a student wants to join? Do they have to go to their family to join, or can a student do it on their own? A student can join on his or her own. If he, is un he or she is under 18, we would need to have a parent or guardian come in to sign the waiver form. Any, uh, anyone who is uh, 19 or older would be considered an adult and would uh, fall under the adult rates that Jim here just mentioned. Anyone who is under 19 would qualify for youth rates, and again, that is subject to reduction based on total household income. And total household income, in this case, would include their parents' income if they are living at home, and would include roommates' income if they are living in an apartment, say, with another roommate or two or three roommates. All right, and actually this works. Actually, Patty helped me join. I became a member of the Y back in January, mm -hmm. so you get a nice little cool card to go with the rest of your little grocery discount cards, and you just come in, and can you scan me real quick? Sure. You just come in, they'll scan you, and you can go on. There's all types, what type of facilities around the city of the Y, what type of facilities do you guys have to offer? Well, at this particular branch, we have the uh, workout areas, the locker rooms, the classes, and of course, the dry heat sauna. Now, the, uh, your membership is citywide once you become a member of the YMCA, meaning you can go to any YMCA throughout the city. There are sev seven full facilities within the city, and you can go to any of those with your card and just get scanned in the same way that you would here. There are uh, there is the Baxter branch, which is down near Greenwood. There is the uh, the uh, branch over in Zionsville uh, called the Pike branch. There are two branches up north in Fishers and in Carmel uh, called the Jordan and the Fishers branch. There's the Urban Mission branch, which is over uh, just about a block from us, over on the uh, in the English Foundation building on the fourth floor. Uh, you can go to any of these. Many of them have pools. Uh, ourselves and our pike branches are the only ones that do not have swimming pools. But the other branches uh, have indoor and in the summer outdoor pools as well. Uh, many of them also have racquetball courts and whirlpools in the men's and women's adult locker rooms. Okay. Now the adult locker rooms are for ages 19 and over. And uh, the Baxter branch down in Greenwood has all of those facilities. and. Uh, the Pike and the Athenaeum branches are a little smaller branches, so they don't have as, as much, but we do have the workout facilities. Okay, so what if we're hanging out with my friends and I have a membership to the Y, but they don't? Could they ever come in and we can play basketball or exercise together? Of course you can. Uh, we sometimes have uh, specials where we are waiving uh, fees, guest pass fees. Sometimes that goes for as much as a week, uh, so the people will have a chance to come in and try the facilities out before they actually join. Uh, also, uh, when a member joins, such as yourself, you receive three guest passes with your membership and a couple of more throughout the year, and you can use those for family, friends, whoever you want to, so they can come in and work out or play basketball with you. And if you don't have any of those, it's, it's an $8 guest pass fee per day, but the great perk to that is, once that person joins, which we always hope they join, the, all that money comes back off of their first month's membership. 
All right, so as you guys can see, there's really no excuse for you not to be in shape here in Indianapolis. You have the Y with many locations. Cheyenne here has given us some helpful advice on what we need to do that we can do in and out the gym. So I want to thank you, Cheyenne, and coming. Jim, and Patty for helping us. Thank you. And we'll see you guys later. Y -M -C -A.